So you want to learn on shape. Let's get started. We're going to come up over here to the Create tab and click on Document. Now we're going to call this document New and we're going to hit Create Public Document. We're going to see that we're presented with three planes. The front plane, the top plane, and the right plane. Now if you take your middle mouse button and press down on it, you can pan these three planes around. You can also click your right mouse button and drag to rotate around. Alternatively, you can click on this little view cube and click on a face or an edge and that will change the orientation of the planes. We can see that these three planes, the top, the front, and the right plane, are shown here in the Feature Manager tree. What this means is there's an origin point and there are three planes that pass through that origin point. You can actually see that they all line up together. So what we want to do is we want to click on top and we're going to come over here to sketch, click on sketch, and we now have created a sketch on the top plane. So let's come over here to center point circle, click on center point circle, click on that center origin and drag out. Click again and now we're going to come over to dimension, click on dimension, click on the circle again. When we click down again, we can now enter a value into this box. So I want to make it 100 millimeters, and I'm going to hit OK. It doesn't matter what your unit system is now, so if it's in Imperial, don't worry about that. Now, with that completed, I'm going to click on Extrude, and that's automatically going to create what's called a feature, an Extrude feature, which is one of the main building blocks of this software. So I can click on this arrow here, in the window that pops up and that's going to change the direction of that extrusion. If I change the depth it, it'll make it either higher or lower so I can type in whatever value I want and I can also choose to make this symmetric which means that it's extruding in two different directions and only doing half of each one. I could set draft and that's going to allow me to do all kinds of stuff. But for now, we're going to deselect these. And we just want to do a very simple new solid extrusion, which is automatically all selected for you. So hit OK. And the same way that we created a sketch on one of the planes, you can do so for a flat face. So I can, for instance, click on this top face and create a sketch on that face and I can do the same thing we did before. I'm going to select top, so we're looking right at the top. I'm going to select the center point circle again. I'm going to click on the origin, drag out, and we're going to create an extrusion now. And this extrusion, I want it to be um, 50 millimeters. And you'll notice that I could either do add or I could even hit remove. So if I hit remove, it's going to cut down into the part. And there are all sorts of different ways and types here that I could choose from. I could do through all, and it'll just automatically cut through the whole thing. But for now, we're just going to do blind, which is the most basic one. It just goes down the amount that you say, 50 millimeters, and we're just going to hit OK. And now we have this shape. We're going to click on front plane this time and we're going to create a sketch and I'm going to select the center drag down to create a center line and I'm going to this time select the three-point arc so click over here three-point arc and we're going to just place this um, here at the edge and we're going to drag this out and the second point we want to click is the line itself. And once you have that, it'll let you kind of move this to where you want it to be. I'm just going to make it something like this. And we're just going to add one more line from this point to this point. And you can actually see that this shape is now shaded. Now the reason it's shaded is because this is a closed profile. This is a fully closed shape. 
So I'm going to hit OK. And I can click on, instead of Extrusion, we're going to click on Revolve. I'm going to click on that Close Profile. And then I'm going to, over here where it says Revolve Axis, you're going to select this line. So if this didn't pop up for you, just be sure that you have the correct selections. There are two different windows here. If you need to exit out of both, I'll do it right now. Then you can just redo your selections. It's no big deal. So again, we're going to select this face, this closed profile, and I'm going to click here, Revolve Axis, and I'm going to select this Revolve Axis, and it's going to select that for us. So I'm going to hit OK. And you can see that now we have this shape we can change a few parameters. So I'm going to click over here in our feature manager tree, which is really just a timeline and a record of every action that's been done. So you can always go back to these features and change them. I can, for instance, right click, edit our sketch one, and I can change its dimension to be 50 instead of 100 and that's going to change the part. We're going to learn a couple more features here. The next thing I want to touch on is the fillet command. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click on this edge and I can even drag this arrow to make a fillet either larger or smaller. So I'm going to make my fillet something like this. I'm going to hit OK. And now we're going to try a little bit of a more advanced feature. It's called the shell command. We're going to come over here to shell and I'm going to click on this top face and we're going to just hit OK. And as you can see, it's actually hollowed out this entire shape. Now it's a little bit hard to see just by rotating the model around. So we're going to use a little tip. We're going to click on front plane and we're going to right click and we're going to click on section view. And as you can see, it has sectioned the entire part. So you can look inside and see what the shape is. We can also exit out of this, click on that same plane, right click, turn off section view. And so these are really the basics of the software. Now there's one more feature that we're gonna go and learn about so what I'm going to do is I don't want the shell command anymore. Now I could right click and delete it, or I could just take this rollback bar, which is basically the timeline bar, and move it ahead of that feature, and you're going to see that it actually gets rid of it in the part. The reason is because this line is like a timeline. And if your timeline bar is at the bottom, the rollback bar is at the bottom, then all the features matter. But if you were to drag this all the way to the top, you would be starting from the first feature. You would only see the first feature. As I'm moving this down, you're seeing that it's actually showing how the part was created step by step. Because these are all your steps right here. Now, the way we want to do this is let's move up ahead of shell one. Now shell one has disappeared. And I want to create a sketch here on the front plane. So create a sketch. And we're going to three point arc. And I'm just going to create this three point arc here. And you can see that it's kind of moving in place. Now this line, this is where I want my arc to be. So because of the fact that I can't, it's not really letting me place this bottom point right on the line, I'm going to click on this top line, this projection of that cylinder, and I'm going to come over here to where it says um, project, click on it, and now it projected that actual um, line. So we're going to click on this again, and we're going to click on construction. We'll get into what that means later, and we're going to take this point, and we're going to connect. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get out of the sketch and we're going to click on this face, create a sketch, and this time let's select just the edge. 
and we're going to come over here to where it says use project click on it and it actually projected and made a sketch of this edge if that makes sense it projected that edge and turned it into a sketch it converted it so let's hit OK and now we're gonna come over here to where it says sweep this is the third feature I want to show you so we're going to select this circle and for sweep path we're going to select our arc that we made and you're gonna see that it actually creates this really interesting shape out of those two sketches so we're gonna hit OK and you can see that and so we can also choose to have some fun with this I can go and change this sketch to my liking and I can make it whatever I want within reason as long as it's able to compute that feature it can also give me a failure if I do something which it cannot create and we can go with the shell again and I can click on this face and you'll see that it's hollowed out the entire thing I hope you got some value out of this video thanks for watching